How to connect Streamlabs to TikTok in 2023 Connecting to Streamlabs using TikTok is something that majority of people wants to do. Unfortunately, not everyone have access to StreamKey. So here's how you can do it without a StreamKey. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to open TikTok Live Studio. So you want to download this one. In order for you to come here, you can just search uh, TikTok Live Studio and you will be redirected to that first page. So once you are here, I want you to click free download for Windows. Okay, there you go. And then we're just going to wait. Okay, now that it's done downloading, let's try to install this one. Okay, and then finish. Okay, and then we have to log in. So I'm going to log in this time using my QR code. So I'm just going to open it. Okay, this time uh, we are going to set it up like a beginner. So we're going to click set up now. All right, for the default device, this is our microphone. So I'm going to choose USB microphone because that's my mic. And then next, camera. Okay, next. Now this time, the first time you open this one, TikTok actually is going to do like a... TikTok is going to do like a speed test and will determine the speed of your internet and then will give you the suggested resolutions to use for later. So in my case, it's 720p, 30 FPS and 1800 of bitrate. So let's click OK. Now these are the suggested settings from TikTok. A little bit depending on your internet connection. So in my case, I'm just going to stay the same at 720p. And then this time for the bitrate, I'm going to set it at 2000. I think my internet can handle a little bit more than that. Let's click next. So here for the scenes, majority of TikTok actually uses portrait. So we're going to use portrait and then click finish. All right, so you can stream now with uh, TikTok. So I'm going to click not now. Okay, got it. Now, this is how my screen looks like. As you can see now, it is trying to stream myself. Uh, I'm not going to be using this one. So um, instead of that, I'm going to be clicking add scene. And I'm going to click blank. Add. Okay, there you go. So now it's a fully blank screen. So this is what we are going to do. So we're going to click add source and here in add source, click capture card, this one. So once you're here, click add. And then this is very important for the video device. Instead of easy camera, this is my camera that I'm using right now. I'm going to click Streamlabs desktop virtual webcam. And then I'm going to click add source. Okay, take note that when you've done that, you will actually see a kind of like a noise. So be wary about that. And now that we are here, I can then resize this to my screen. Um, okay, go here and then I'm just going to pull it down here and then find the center. Okay, that's the center. So this is now my screen, as you can see here. Okay, now that we are here, we can actually put camera in this part. So for our camera, this is what we are going to do. Uh, I want you to open your Streamlabs. And then I want you to click sources for your sources. I want you to click video capture device. So this one, so this is your webcam device and I'm going to click add source, add source. Okay. And the device again, this is our computer's camera. So that's the name easy camera and then close. So this is how it looks like. I actually I can actually turn it on like this yep but I'm just gonna cover it because I'm a shy type person <laughs> now the next thing we're going to do is here if you can see our camera is really big so we're going to resize it to a smaller one and, and until it will fit okay so let's resize this to smaller one so we can see it happening okay uh, there you go. 
all right depending on what you are doing you can resize it to how big or small uh, you think it fits so for example if i am uh, streaming a game and you know this part right here on top is being used i can then resize it to a little bit smaller however if i'm doing like some sort of conversation driven streaming so i can then uh, enhance it and make it a little bit bigger so it's up to you guys how you're gonna do it now uh, another thing that i will show you is that if you are going to change the shape of this camera what you're going to do is you're going to click alt okay uh, let's try to make this a bit bigger okay so let's resize our camera again we're going to try clicking alt and there you go now i can see it so i can change the shape of the camera okay now i will try opening my camera and see this one all right so i am here and then i'm going to change this one as well it's not actually changing the the shape or size of actual camera but but just what is being broadcasted okay there you go so i think that fits my head so yeah that should be okay so that that's how you're going to do it and then yeah i'm just going to hide my camera and yeah just play with it you know try to see what fits best in what you are doing okay so i'm going to put it here okay so yeah that should be enough for me or i can put it here in the bottom part and then make it a little bit bigger okay yeah just like that so yeah that's how you're going to connect streamlabs to tiktok in 2023 the easy way and by the way guys again i would highly suggest to upgrade to streamlabs ultra to level up your streaming quality and experience you can save up to ten dollars right away after clicking on the link in the description box and the comment section below and as always, please subscribe to the channel and like this video if this helps you out.